everyone, it's Danielle from Rosetta Vera. Um, today I am taking a look at these markers I picked up at Marshalls. These are the Mum Mark um, watercolor markers. There are, I think, 24 uh, in the pack. I got them for $7 roughly. Um, I wasn't looking for markers, but I happened to see them as I was shopping in Marshalls, and I decided to just grab them and take a look at them. So without further ado, let's get into them. Here it says they retail for $11. I don't know how true that is, but I can look them up online and see what they go for. That's the back, sorry. And that's what the front looks like. So these are um, four millimeter bullet tip markers. Let's cut this open. Done the first go. All right, so those are all 24 markers. So looks like you have something for everyone here. Um, let's see, are there names on the markers? There are no names of the colors. These markers are actually seem really short. Um, let me grab one of my um, flare markers paper made flares so just to give you an idea how long they are that's what they look like so um they're supposed to be bullet tip so these are only single tips not double sided um so let's grab my pad and get into swatching these Alright, so I'm just going to swatch them in the order they are in the case, and we'll go from there. So I'll put that to the side. Alright. So, don't know how I feel about that. I don't really like that bullet tip. Um, these don't really flow nice in the hand. It's such a weird length. Um, these weren't in the children's section of Marshalls, but it kind of makes me wonder, are these more for kids? They're just that, that Length is just a weird length. Um, I definitely am not trying to write scripts with them. It doesn't feel like it would flow in that sense. Um, so I'm just going to stick with um, block printing. Well, not block printing, my print. Um, these also are in a triangular shape, so they don't roll. Um, I would say at first glance, ugh, not feeling great about them. Um, the tip really is just not flexible at all. So I don't even know if I would like coloring with these. And I hate to be such a downer. you know, as soon as I start, but they just aren't a good feel. Um, somebody else may really enjoy them, but I know for how I write, it's not the greatest feel. Um, the colors are, for the most part, matching up to the packaging. I wouldn't say these are super juicy. Um, this tip, you're not going to get a finer line. It's not that kind of bullet tip where you can do like fine and kind of turn it to the side and get a thicker line. These just pretty much are what they are. So what you're seeing here is probably as fine as you're going to get it. So something to keep in mind 
Um, I do think they're probably made more so for coloring because you can't get that fine line. Um, but I don't know. If you have markers like this, I'd be curious to know how you use them. Um, this casing is like a fuchsia purple, but it comes out more pink. And this pink has more of a purple tone to it. I mean, I purchased these partly because they were watercolor markers and I was interested to know how they would blend. I don't know if I'm going to go into all of that here. I'm just kind of feeling like they probably smudge and maybe that's not fair of me, but not feeling really confident about them right now the colors are okay i don't have any real issue with the colors i'm seeing i will say these don't make me feel like they're going to last a long time like i said they're not juicy at all so I don't think that these will last a long time. I think if you do any heavy duty project, these are gonna run out. I just realized that I'm spelling watercolor the American English way, but it's actually spelled the British way on the marker. So if you're searching for these, you have to add that U in there. All right, so that's the first 12 colors from the mop mark. Um, watercolor markers um, so these are the lighter colors of the set um, the remaining 12 go into the grays the blues and the greens um, so this is as bright as it pretty much gets for this set um, even the greens I have here I don't think are going to be very light maybe two will be light and that's it so th this is as bright as it gets so um, I'm going to move on to another blank piece of paper just to be on the safe side here so I can get everything. And it also gives us opportunity to see if there's any clear bleed through. There is some ghosting, um, but I'm not seeing any bleed through. Like I said, they didn't feel very juicy, so there's no bleed through there. I guess my my initial thoughts as I'm writing these, and I usually I will wait until I've swatched all of them, but I think I pretty much know what I want to say here. And I think you all know what I want to say here. I would not go searching for these markers. Um, I would say if you happen to be in them, Marshalls, TJ Maxx, I'm trying to think what's in the South. Was it called Tuesday morning or something? Um, Burlington. If you're in one of those type of stores and you come across these and you just want to add some watercolor markers to your collection or you, you've never worked with watercolor and you just kind of don't want to do a big investment, I mean, you could pick them up. 
I don't know if you'll walk away feeling like you had the greatest experience. Um, this actually may turn you away from watercolors if this is your first exposure to them. Um, and like I said, I want to be fair. I'm not doing any blending here. Um, these may really just be for, oops, for coloring versus writing. But like I said, I wouldn't go out of my way to look for these. If you came across them and you wanted to try them out, I think that's fine. I think so far that's the, the first color I saw that I was like, oh, I like that. That's really pretty. That's a really pretty green. Um... I'm not mad about picking them up um, because they were only seven dollars. Um, and again, um, gives me something to experiment with. I may doodle something after I finish swatching these just to get an idea. Um, how they blend because um, that might help you figure out if you even want to be bothered it's a pretty blue I will say again they the length of these just feel a little weird I feel like I feel like I'm writing with the kids' Crayola crowns. That's, that's the sensation. This is a nice color blue also. I'm down to the last three. A lot of purple in this blue. I will say this side of the package, the colors are a little bit more juicy than the other side was. And then we have our last one, which is the black. I would be surprised if this is super black. Oops, I keep putting them up. I keep spelling that wrong. It's not super black. I didn't expect it to be. So those are all of the um, Montmark watercolor markers. Um, like I said, first impression, not the best impression of these. Um, I don't, again, think I would recommend anybody run out to get these. I definitely would not recommend anybody pay full price for these. Um, but I am gonna doodle something and just kind of see, maybe I'll doodle a flower and see what they look like when it comes to blending because right about now yeah I'm not feeling like um, I'm going to really pull these out alright so give me a second let me grab some paper and a pen okay so I'm back I just got some basic copy paper and grabbed a micron 08 um, from out of my pens. So I'm just going to draw some really basic th flower. This is a flower I've been drawing since I was a kid. Nothing super fancy. That's not even as nice as I normally draw it, but Again, I wasn't trying to do anything super fancy here. So 
just more of a doodle than anything else. I was going to use one of my Staples gel pens, but I wanted to give us a chance, so that's where I grabbed the Micron. Um, let's see what color do I want to use to color this in. Maybe I'll start with the flower first. I mean, the leaves first. It doesn't seem to be smudging. Oh, maybe I spoke to someone might be smudging a little bit. And I can already see the tip is fraying up as I am coloring. And I am pretty sure that is leaking through. Yeah, it's starting to already. That is just from me initially coloring. So I'm gonna, while that's drying a bit, I'm gonna color the inside of this flower. And it is definitely bleeding the micron. There's no doubt about it. And, ugh, it's super muddy. Since that happens, I'm just gonna go in. try to. Oh, that's getting worse. Okay. So that answers the question about smudging and if these are too juicy. Oof. Okay. Um. Yeah, it's definitely bleeding through. Um, and again, this is just regular copy paper. The paper in my pad, where I write the swatches, is thicker. Um, do I even want to try blending these? feeling great about that so hmm, hmm, hmm. only grabbed one sheet of paper so we know copy paper is not the move it's not gonna work so let me fold this maybe give a little bit of bulk um, again just trying something really really simple um, so we know that they absolutely do make the micron bleed We know that if you're using thinner paper, they're going to bleed through. I just want to kind of see how the colors blend together. together but I can't say it's great I can't say and I don't know if you can see that like as I'm coloring with it the edges of the bullet are fraying so so yeah that's I think I've gone from like if you see them pick them up to kind of like uh, 
I don't know if it's even worth doing that. You might be mad that you wasted your money. Um, uh, I, yeah, I mean, I have... I have some watercolor markers. They're not Copics, but I do have some. Um, I'm trying to remember what who they're from. I think they're from Tonic Studios. And they definitely blend better than this. Um, I got them on a great deal, on a Black Friday deal a couple years back, and they always do a great deal on them. So, I mean, if you can't afford Copics, I would say, you know, try to look out for Tonic Studios and when they have their deal. Um, there's also some Amazon ones that people rave about. My daughter has a set that she likes playing with. Um, so there are other options. I mean, this was, again, it was seven bucks. So I picked it up. Um, I'm kind of left with the feeling that this was not worth my seven dollars. Um... I will try them again in one of my coloring books. Maybe that's what I'll just use them for and just, you know, face some reality that they're not going to last that long. Obviously, if they're spraying when I'm coloring with them, they're not going to last that long. Um, but, yeah, I think that's about it, guys. I don't think I have much else to say about them, at least nothing really good I mean I think you can get similar colors and other sets so you don't necessarily have to buy this to save money I mean again like if you had a kid who was like dying for watercolors and they you know you didn't want to spend the money maybe but I, I ugh. And I don't like to give bad reviews on things, but yeah, um, I don't really like these. Let me stop beating around the bush. I don't really like these. Um, so with that, <laughs> I'm going to end this video. Um, I'll say what I always say. Thank you for stopping by. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, and you know, I'll check you out in the ne next video. Um, if you see some way to salvage these or you've used them and you've had a good experience, let me know. Um, that's about it. See you guys. So before I put these markers away, I went and talked to my daughter who's a watercolorist just to get her take on this. Like maybe I was being a little unfair to these markers. So, um... She said the markers should not be blurring the microns. Um, she said um, that's concerning that they are. Um, and as I was talking to her, ugh, she gave me some watercolor paper. This is cold press watercolor paper and you're getting the same effect as you did with the copy paper. So, um, as I was talking to her, I noticed on the outside of the watercolor markers, there were directions and it says, create watercolor effects in two simple steps. Draw on paper or canvas, add water to your drawing using a paintbrush or water brush. So my kids said, maybe you're not supposed to use a lot of the ink. You're supposed to use water to move the color around a little bit <laughs> so um we're gonna try that so you see i just put a little green watercolor ink down i'm gonna take a wet paint brush and ugh, i think that's just making the micron Come out more. Mm. Mm. Let's try a different color. Um, let's.
Again, it is smudging the Micron even on watercolor paper. As I was telling her about my experience with the markers, she said, yeah, I figured that was gonna be the case. I didn't understand why you were buying them yesterday. Um, but she didn't try to persuade me not to. And see how that works for kids? You know, she didn't think it was a good idea but she didn't tell me not to buy them. She just let me spend my ugh, $7. I hate to say this folks, but it's not looking promising. Um, so, um, this brush is not sopping wet. It's more damp than anything else. And I don't think we're getting much of a difference here um anyway as she was giving me some ideas of what to do with this she was showing me she was getting some watercolor paper out of her um pad for me i noticed she had a drawing of a cherry blossom where she just did splotches of color so that gave me an idea of how I could possibly use these. So let's ignore this. That wasn't well done. So I was thinking like, if we did a tree, I know this isn't a good rendition of a tree, but you know what I mean. We did a tree and we just kind of Did splotches of color in different places and kind of used the markers and just kind of built upon them in that way instead of doing any full blown coloring and blending, just kind of layer the colors this way maybe that would be a way to use them and i mean this is not the best rendition of this but i think it gives you an idea of what i'm talking about of how to use them in a way um the colors kind of overlap and you're not exactly coloring um, again you're just using different dashes of colors and you're just kind of building up um, it may be a way to use them so that you're not fraying out the edges as like I said um, they were definitely fraying out when I was trying to color. You saw that here. Also when I was trying to color with them that they were fraying out. So this might be a way to use them um, to kind of like do texture and color at the same time. Again, this isn't the best tree, but I think it gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. Um, if you wanted to do something that was a little more fall like where the colors are changing in the trees, I probably ruined it doing this. But it, I think you get the point of what I'm talking about of using the markers. Oops, I want to use blue. Um, use the mar markers in a way. Like if you wanted to color something, you're not doing just a straight color, you're kind of building up the colors with short strokes. Um, that could be a way to utilize the marker since they don't really color well, like you would use short strokes or long strokes to color instead of a back and forth. Um, 
um, that would be what I would recommend um, if you wanted to use these the color is to not um, go back and forth just use short strokes short strokes and long strokes and in one direction so I mean that's probably how I'm going to salvage them um, and probably think of if I was going to do flowers think of flowers I could do that have that have um, petals like that that are a little um, more stringy or I'm trying to think of flowers that would have more of that feel to them um, where you're doing something like hyacinth or um, I'm trying to think maybe bluebells or something like that where it doesn't um, if I was doodling and I just wanted to add the color so that's it I just wanted to come back and share that with you that that was kind of the guidance my daughter gave me I guess if I wanted to go back with the watercolor brush with water it would help kind of blend those streak those um strokes together so that the color is more co cohesive and it doesn't look so um spiky yeah um you could do that so that's one way to use them um but other than that um goodbye again um and like i said love to hear your thoughts about these if you have used them in the past um how you're using them and how do you like them um but like i said i will use them because i have them but i would not recommend them okay that's it bye again